what are some of the hidden symbolism in the old fairy tales of Snow White and Sleeping Beauty? So why does a 30-year-old uh, man talk about fairy tales like Sleeping Beauty and Snow White? Most of what we are seeing in fairy tales are some sort of archetypes of us as human beings. It talks to us at a deeper level, not only on the conscious level, but also on a subconscious level. So, for example, Sleeping Beauty. The story tells about a princess that's been predicted to um, be spinning a needle and get um, fall into death first, but then actually she's falling into a sleep. There's like 12 women and then the 13 women, uh, 13 ladies, she uh, says this curse that she's gonna die, but the 12th lady invited to the feast for Snow White, uh, not Snow White, Sleeping Beauty, um, says that she's not gonna die, she's just gonna fall asleep. So what I see is that the female part of us is the earthly part. We always talk about mother nature, mother earth. Then we have the prince coming in and the prince is always seen as heaven, um, the love coming, uh, coming with the love's kiss, coming with truth, coming with the light from the sun, for example. And we have to find the balance. So what we're seeing collectively is that we have all fallen asleep, like sleeping beauty. And we are waking up slowly to truth, to our consciousness level rising and we have to go through all these forms like the consciousness has to go through the forms go to the highest tower where every magic always happens is where you above the normal consciousness and you can have the outlook you can look all different sides so when she gets the kiss sleeping beauty the spell is gone. So what we're seeing right now is that we're moving through all the dust, all the fawns, all the darkness, and even death. Like we have this fear of death. Number 13 is in tarot, actually the death card. But death is also transformation. So this means that what happened to Sleeping Beauty was a transformation. It, wasn't, it was on the surface perhaps looking like death. And she was sleeping, dreaming. This is a dream world. But she woke up. Truth eventually found her. It could have taken 10 years, 20 years. It took 100 years in the fairy tale. And that also symbolizes reincarnation. That no matter, matter how many lifetimes, eventually we will wake up. And you can also see it in um, Snow White. She has a bite of the apple, another curse. So the bite of the apple symbolizes, we can also see in Apple's logo, where we, the first time we feel separated from our true nature. So we fall into density. We have this bite of the apple. You also see it in um, the Bible, where Adam and Eve have a bite of the apple, fall out of, out of uh, paradise. And then she finds these seven dwarves. The seven dwarves is the seven chakras. It's not totally out of the thin air that these fairy tales are invented. They are very deep archetypes and simple, symbols of what's going on. So she has to awaken all these seven chakras. And again, the prince come, the principle of light, truth, and love. So it's not like a physical prince. This is a, like 
the mother figure symbolizes or the female symbolizes the yin and then we have the yang and when both work together we create balance and harmony so we can't have just one of them we have to have both of them to create balance and it has to grow in a, in a circle so what we are seeing collectively right now is that we are rediscovering our true nature and our oneness and where was our first sin happening and sin is not something that is um, religious it's not like something that you've done it's more a feeling of being separated from oneness you fell into density and felt separated from other people from who you were and who you are but it's an illusion and over many lifetimes you are steadily waking up to this revelation that you are not separated that in LLC you are not sin that means going without from Latin you are still one with everyone and everything and the false identity the false illusion is starting to crumble and this is transformation it looks like death but it's actually transformation so we can learn a lot from these old fairy tales and not just the Disney version but look into what's really happening what is being told spiritually through these archetypes about our deep unconsciousness our deep memories we have and there's some this has become very more spiritual so there's some animals here on earth that are helping us to rediscover this so we have the whales who holds deep unconscious memories for us we have the elephants and we have the dolphins and these animals are not here to learn something new they're here to help us remember so what are we really doing here on earth right now is that we are remembering our lost oneness so this gives us a completely different perspective of why these animals are trying to be in our movies in our uh, we go to visit them, we have them in circuses, we have them do shows um, and we feel inspired by them. I've had a whale safari in Monterey, United States, California a couple years ago and after I went to that uh, whale safari and we saw the whales I fell into a very, very, very deep sleep like Sleeping Beauty. I just felt unconscious and I could just feel a lot of things happening just by remembering these memories that the whales held for me and held, holds for all of us collectively so when you see whales you see dolphins see elephants see them as a symbol of something's being re reawakened in you and it's never been lost it's always been there it's just remembering what you already know that this false identity is just false, it's an illusion. Like you don't when you get a new car, you're just saying you're not saying I am this car, you're saying this is uh, the car I'm driving in. <laughs> so um, you're not saying I am this body, uh, you are the one who's aware of this body. You are the energy and the awareness that's looking through these eyes, hearing through your ears speaking through your mouth right now and feeling through the senses here and it makes it less uncomfortable and it also makes it less you don't become so yeah it doesn't become so painful the suffering disappears when you become the awareness instead of the false identity so this is a video about like the fairy tales and the archetypes and the symbolism hidden in them and the very spiritual parts that's hidden in all these archetypes. 
So all my love, my name is Simon August and you can feel free to subscribe. There's a link below this video here if you feel this was interesting. All my love, have a wonderful day.